Hey everybody, and welcome to my 210th official Let's Play, which is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Power for Zelda Classic. This quest is brought to us by Wild Bill over on the Pure ZC forums, who is sadly no longer with us. I will play and beat this quest to honor his memory, and I hope you all will give this game a try too, because it's quite awesome and should be seen by more ZCers. With that being said, let us begin, and Wild Bill, this one is for you, buddy. This is all I can give you. You'll have to find a sword on your own. Yay, 20 rubies! Do we have a gem shooter? No. We're not gonna be flinging rubies at enemies, although that would be pretty cool. No, what we gotta do with the 20 rubies is go to this shop. Buy something, will ya? Well, bombs sound like a good bet. And we're going to need these momentarily. So now we leave the village. And go south a couple screens. Oops, excuse me. And, oh, gotta watch out for the Octorok. Rock. And I blew him up. Yay. Yay, you want to go into this cave here. Alright, three bombs, three gels. What I'm going to try to do is hopefully get a couple with one bomb. Unfortunately, they're not really sticking together very long for me to... All right, come on. Will two of you go the same direction, please? Okay, all right. Uh, I want to try to reserve one bomb if I can. Ah, I got away. All right, come on. Both of you crawl right over here. Yeah, there we go. And I managed to spare one bomb. And we get the wooden sword for getting past that room. So that solves the issue of killing enemies. Now we can hack bushes down too, and make more money, and pick up parts that we don't need yet. All right, so now we gotta find level one. Cause I could probably do levels one and two without a magic shield. They're really not that hard, or long either. Yeah, wallet shop is gonna be relevant later, especially if you want the red ring. More on that. More on that later. Alright, we gotta go this way. Yeah, that screen will be relevant soon, too. The one with the Triforce on the grass. Yeah, what you gotta do here to get to level 1, you gotta go in this cave, talk to a Moblin, he'll offer you advice for like 5 rubies apiece. He's gonna tell you 3 separate maze paths, and you need to know them all in order to get to level 1. And I have them written down here, so we're good to go. I'm gonna kill these Red Moblins first, just to get them out of my way. Okay, now we can focus on the routes here. Alright, for section one, we gotta go left. Down. And then we're gonna go right. And finally, down again. And as you can see, we got two uh, rocks on this screen, indicating we're in section two. And I'll follow the second maze path momentarily. A very unique way to get to the first dungeon. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we got to start off section 2 going right. And then we go down twice. One. And a two. And then we finally go left. Right into section 3. Now I see there's a heart piece here. I kind of forgot how to get to it, but maybe I'll figure it out later. Alright, section 3 maze path starts by going up. Down. And then we go left and up for the last. And that will take us into level one. We are here! Yay! Ignore the blue moblins and enter. Level one. Basic level one Zelda dungeon music, yeah. Different rendition, though. Sounds a little more ominous. Well, as ominous as a uh, mini can sound. So yay, map for killing the Stalfos. And we got more Hershey Kiss drops. I will eat them or kill them. Alright, well, one-way shutter there, so I guess we're gonna bomb the wall, maybe? Aha! Okay, three keys, we can deal with this. Come on, get over here, you. 
If I'm fast enough, I can probably knock out level 2. I should be able to fit it in this vid. Oh, looks like we need something for that room. So, we're going up, I guess. Alright, I got two red gorillas. Use the half-tile tricks when he dodged a boomerang. And third hit, boom. Compass, yay! But not only that, push the block. In the stairwell, we get the hook shot. Very unorthodox getting the hook shot in a level 1. Certainly different from every other quest I've played. Oh, but don't worry, your hookshot will be flexing its muscles very shortly. Wild Bill ensures, uh, you know, Wild Bill will make sure you get good use of it in every dungeon. And for, you know, some areas in the game. Instead of muscles, I should be saying flexing its chains. <laughs> Whee! Like right there. You gain some invulnerability going through the traps. Oh, let's see. I don't think we can get to that money right now. I think we need another item. Yeah. That little Triforce symbol in the right corner there. I think you need the whistle for it. Probably creates a bridge to that money. Alright, now that we have the hook shot, we can visit the right portion of the dungeon. And now we got three Gorillas! And we got hook shot stun both of them. And hook shot you right in the face! And now we get the boomerang! Yay! And now we'll go right! And in here you just got three wall masters. You can stun them as they come through the wall. And now what you can do, push these blocks out of the way and get another heart piece. So I think that's two of them in a row right now. Yep. Well, actually no, that's one. I thought I got a second one, guess not. Yeah, and here no enemies, just grab a key. And then you gotta find the right block to escape. Okay, now we're gonna go up through this doorway. And in here we got Stalfos, only three of them. I think we're getting more money in here. Or a key. Okay, never mind. And north again. Alright, watch out. You got statue shooters in here. Kind of tricky to dodge them without the magic shield. Alright, grab that key and escape. And now it's a straight shot to the finish. Through the doorway. Hooky shot. Unlucky door. Yeah, big ass hook shot puzzle maze here. Yeah, don't get dizzy shooting all around here. God, my eyes are spitting. <laughs> Go through the north door here. And now we got one lone red dark nut. Just gotta take four shots of your wooden sword to get rid of. Use the sideways sword trick if you want. Through the locked door and boss time. And it's a lone Dodongo. Wait for him to line up with me and then. Oh. And use the bomb trick. Dead. Yay, four heart containers now. And that will do it for level one. So, yeah, that wasn't uh, much effort. At a level one, we had to use the hook shot in. Very unique, Wild Bill. Another key fragment lies buried near the village. Yep, at the end of every dungeon, Zelda will tell you where to go next. How kind of her. Stun you! Yeah, I'm gonna massacre the mob and see if they drop anything good. I'm already maxed out on bombs, so maybe I'll get money this time. Or not. Alright, now we gotta exit the base path. I think to do that, we just go right. I'll take us back to section 2. Now we go up, back to section 1, and then up again to leave completely. So that wasn't too bad. Alright, we're only nine minutes in, so yeah, we definitely have time to put another level in. So, I guess onward to level two. Oh, damn you, Octoraki. More money for my pouch. Yeah, that wallet shot, well, I'll grind up some cash for it later. Probably like after levels three and four, perhaps. I'll consider investing in a larger wallet. Alright, level 2... Oh wait, I gotta do something else before I go there. Almost forgot. And we kind of need a certain item to get there. 
Yeah, this is uh, this will lead towards where Zelda is at level nine. We'll go up there later. A couple Octorockies and a P hat. Yeah, I appreciate no P hat spam. That's always good. <laughs> Hey, a bunch of moblins. Now, it looks like we're gonna need candle fire to get rid of those, uh, trees there. Uh, let's see, nothing up there for the moment. What's down here? Now, let's go over here first. Yeah, I'm trying to re retrace my steps here, remember where I went last time. I think I went around. Yeah, just kind of loop de looping around. Yeah, I was supposed to go through here. I grab every ounce of money that this game leaves me right now. Stun you. Alright, who lives in this house? I got to know. I heard that if you play music on the Triforce, something will happen. Yes, a good indicator of what you're gonna need to do in level 2 later. And it will be needed to find something awesome! Okay, now we're gonna go around it. Uh, I think we gotta go up from here. I think there's a fairy pond up here, so I think we gotta go up on the next screen. Yep, we gotta go here, on this one. Yeah, as you can see, there's a hookshot spot up here, you wanna go there. And try not to run into the moblin as you're shooting yourself over there. Boing! Play the Ocarina of Power to move objects and solve puzzles. A nice red hot ocarina. Sweet. I'm always used to seeing blue ocarinas. Alright, let's whistle our way back. Stand on the whistle marker and there you go. Got a bridge that forms after you play the funky music. And now we are ready for level two. And there's the fairy pond. Figure I'd just show it off since I'm in the neighborhood. And Blue Octoraki's dropping bombs that I don't need since I'm maxed out already. But I do want more money. I'm gonna be saving up for that magic shield. Hope to get a sword upgrade soon, too. We should be able to get one after level 2. Hacking down more bushes. Hmm. Yeah, finding a crap ton of rubies in the bushes here. Loving it. Oh. Well, that was kind of rude. Walked a little further than I would have liked. Sword timing off. Horrible. Ooh, purple ruby across the water. It looks like I can get it now since I have the whistle. Alright, makes the hookshot spot. Alright, 50 rubies, and now I get the magic shield. Sweet! Let's go. I want it now. And then I'll start saving up for the upgraded wallet next. Shuffy time! Buy something, will ya? Yep, I want the magic shield, gimme! Yay! Statue Beams and Zoras will no longer be a pest. Alrighty, now it's time for level 2. Let's get moving. And level 2, believe it or not, right here. Need the whistle to open it up. Yeah, big rock tower forms. And here we go. Level 2. And now we go right to start. Yeah, watch out for the center traps in the middle of the room there. And you got the debut of Zoles. 
Yeah, just a single sword slash and a boomerang shot. We'll get rid of them. And we get the map. Yay. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky to kill the ropes in this room. Since we got no sword beams. Yeah, just have to kind of wait for the ropes to go into the crevice here. We'll wait for it to get close enough for the... Yeah, with that. Try again. Come on! Oh, oh crap. Good to know that bombs hurt. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on! Damn snake, get over here! Sadly, we got no bow in there. Oh, yeah. That didn't play too well for me. Yay! <laughs> Wasted a couple bombs there. And you have to kill all the enemies to get the shutters to open. And then after that, whistle on the Triforce. Get rid of that block barricade. Die, sneakies. Get skinned! Yeah, don't go south. Takes you back to the beginning. You want to go up. No enemies in this room. Go right. Okay, now we got some Zoles to slay. Okay, I think we gotta go down from here, because to the right is a dark room. Yay, we got a key. And how do we get out of this room? Oh, we gotta go this way. I think we gotta push down on it, yep. Alright, here, Stoffos. Good chance to get hearts back, maybe. If these boneheads are kind enough to drop one. Nope. Alright, gotta whistle and unlock that key there in the top right corner. Now we go here. When you move blocks, some objects may disappear. Yeah, keep that in mind. That's gonna be for pretty much most of the dungeons in this quest. Alright, I don't think I got bombed in the I'm not gonna waste a bomb. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh yes, hookshot spot. Wee, right over. Use my invincibility frames. Boom, boom. Compass, yay, next room. And we're back here. Oh, poopers, that shell got away. Not anymore. I've gotten away of my uh, hook shot. And great mistakes have respawned. Okay, is he gonna. I don't think the. Is it gonna reach? Oh, damn it. Stop moving out of the way. Come on. Up, snake. Up. Closer. There we go. Oh, thank God I don't have to waste any more bombs there now. Yeah, sadly, there's no other projectiles you can use to get through those blocks. This wooden sword has no sword beams. So you kind of have to rely on bombs to catch the ropes near the blocks. That's one minor little gripe, but, you know, it's one we can get by. I mean, I still like the puzzles and everything. Those are good. Let's like, go up here. Yeah, that heart we can't get until we get the power bracelet, so you'll have to come back with it. Oh, fairy, yes. Heal off that ridiculous bomb damage I took. Push that block to get rid of the barricade here. Okay, rope slaying time again. And I think we gotta push one of the blocks over here. Or will it be one of the middle ones? Or that one! And now we go down. And now we're on this side of things. Whistle on the Triforce Mark. And now we can get to the stairwell. Inside? Blue Candle! Believe it or not, Wild Bill did not use a red candle in this quest. So we're kind of relegated to being stuck with the blue candle. But it's okay, it's not like you gotta burn multiple things anywhere. And I believe the ladder is not in this quest either. Which is quite shocking. I gotta push that block to get out of that, and now where do we go? Okay, I think I know exactly where we gotta go. Yep, gotta go back here now. Stun you, die. Now we go into the dark room, get our candle out. Let's see where the hell we're going here. Alright, three more souls to contend with. Some of the one of the gels face through the block. 
Now through the locked door here. Another dark room. And we got a lone Zora. Not gonna be a threat. We got Blockets Beam. Go up. So we're nearing the boss already. Not too much more. And if you got the magic shield, the boss is gonna be an absolute joke. Key! Yay! And now we just go to the side over here. Locked door, boss time, and it's... Aquamentus, lol! <laughs> Yeah, flawless them, no sweat. Magic shield blocks his beams, so yeah, he's easy pickings. And another key fragment collected. Level 2, done. So yeah, we're about a quarter of the way through the quest, or maybe a, almost about a quarter. There is a key fragment west of Hyrule Castle. Already room. I'm thinking I might just cut this off short, or maybe, let me see, is there any candle puzzles I can solve? Yeah, I'm gonna try burning some random spots, see if I can find some, uh, secrets. Then for the next part, we'll do levels four, uh, three and four. Oh, yeah, I know there's actually one thing I can do real quick. Yes, I just remembered. That Triforce spotted in the grass. I want to investigate that right now. Yeah, the, yep, right here. Yeah, I gotta have five hearts. I'm pretty sure you know what it's gonna be. The five heart thing should speak volumes. But if you don't know... White Sword! Hee <laughs> hee! Test your courage and you can have this. Yep, five heart limit. So yeah, White Sword hidden on this screen. Yeah, sword beams are nerfed in this game, just so you're aware. The white sword itself is going to do more damage. Alright, now let's go investigate some of the overworld here. See if we can find any burnable bushes. I'm going to try to save some money for the upgraded wallet now. Yep, there's going to be the level 3 sword. We'll grab that later. Yeah, we're going to need two very important items to grab that sword. Murder the Octorockies! Oh, and face through the face through the bobblin there somehow. That's very tricky to pull off. Yay, 66 rupees. And there's a secret on this screen, but I think we need the level two bracelet to get it. I think I tried pushing it with the regular and it didn't do anything. Alright, I see a lone bush by itself there. That screams secret. What do we got? Yay! Alright, kill the keys, and nothing happened. Okay, I'm gonna say we need a level 1 or 2 power bracelet to move that block to get to that heart piece. But hey, at least we found the secret. Alright, here's the next secret. We can burn these bushes away. Now we can explore the uh, west portion of uh, Hyrule here. Whoop. Sometimes I skip through certain items when I'm trying to cycle through the menu. Kind of annoying. Eh, at least I got, I'm going to try to at least get to level 3 and then we'll cut it off there. I won't really need that wallet upgrade for quite a while. Hack down some weeds. Yeah, you want to be here and whistle. And you'll form an opening in the mountain wall here and you can go north. Many different things you could do with the ocarina power. Alright, now we go right... And here is level 3. Just gonna kill the mob woods and burn the bush. And I'm gonna leave you guys hanging after that. Cause I'm mean. Alrighty folks, gonna cut things off here for now, so stay tuned for Let's Play! Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Power for Zelda Classic, Part 2. When we will enter level 3, knock that dungeon out, and then we'll immediately head to level 4. 
and maybe do some overworld exploring afterwards. Anyway, see you then, peoples!